only makes sense, right? Ah, that builds pretty quickly, too. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of Tibers on. Wow, okay. Yeah, sure, go go and attack a friendly planet there, uh, missing no one. See where that brings you. Oh, man. And my sore throat isn't where I can't talk at all yet. But it's not far from it. Okay, Boba Fett, you're a Mandalore, you go in first. <sighs> Wayland. Wayland, I'm surprised Wayland isn't under Imperial control. Wayland was a very important planet for the expanded universe. People would uh, go there, the Empire would find... Uh, super weapons there, they would or, uh, produce super weapons there along with the Maw. Okay, so this Boba Fett, uh, uh, this Boba Fett, damn it. <laughs> oh crap. This Boba Fett behaves, that's the word I'm looking for, behaves a lot like the uh, Boba Fett and Absolute Corruption. I can live with that. Let's get Cadelby in there. Uh, Cadelby really living up to its name. I like that. Uh, the sound definitely got a major, major upgrade. Uh, you, Bevlin. Yeah, you're the Slave 2 guy. <laughs> Wow, this is an amazing mod. That's all. That's the only thing I can say. Shields are dropping pretty quickly, and that thing turned pretty quickly too. So the classes are kind of hard to tell from what they are. Cadelby getting owned pretty badly. Let's try this uh, full salvo. Ability on uh, try it on him. Nice custom audio. Everything a good mod needs. Custom audio. Oops. Oh, that's an assault fighter. Could use some more of those. I'm also not getting any reinforcements from ships or uh, fighters from ships. I mean, that's not exactly a good thing. But it's not a bad thing. I can live with it. It also limits lag. Definitely. What was that? Oh, the uh, reinforcement limit is at 50. That's pretty amazing. I really want to see a 50 on 50 battle. That would be pretty intense. Oh, not 50 on 50, but like... Uh, you know what I mean, probably. Hopefully. I'm definitely not on top of my game. Okay, so it seems the uh, Slave 2 guy... I call him Slave 2 guy because I don't know the exact name of the ship. And I haven't memorized his name yet exactly either. I just know it's the same model that Slave 2 used, or the uh, Slave 2 was, when Django, no, Boba used it. I can't English today. I really can't. So we can cloak. Same stuff that Tyberzon can use, alright. Some more custom audio for the assault fighters. Not bad, not bad. Those are those are pretty big fighters. They are Mandalorian size. Makes me wonder. The Slave 2 guy really not a Slave 2? Hmm. 
Corban also under pirate control. That's pretty unusual. I would also expect that to be under imperial control. It's it's Corban, man. I mean, raiders, warriors. So, up oh, Kessel. Hopefully, missing no can help himself. He's got a barracks on him, just in case. Just in case, you know. I should dispatch some uh, reinforcements, help them out a little bit. Or not. Well, crap. T2Bs and speeders. T2Bs shouldn't be much of a problem against a hero. Mandalorian, nonetheless. But the snow speeders could be a bit of a problem. I'll need to set up some turns. I would assume that they're mass drivers. Alright, some more audio for Missing No. Yep. I really want to know how he did that advisor. That is awesome. Okay, so the same... Same old for turrets. You seem to be a very aggressive man. I tell you to go somewhere, and you're instantly... Oh, attack, attack, attack! Open fire! Rain hell! Wow, mass driver. Definitely got a technological... Or a texture upgrade. Beautiful. It looks like flak now. The explosions seem to be slightly off. Just slightly, though. From the uh, protons. Some sound different. Others sound... Others sound, uh... Delayed. Different. Okay, you're all speeders. That's fine. Yeah, you are a very aggressive man. Then again, that is to be expected from a Mandalorian. Well, he sounds... Well, his gun sounds almost identical to... a, uh... a droidica repeating guy. Blaster, wow. And so there's a uh, bunker right on top of a crater. That is one badass bunker. Oh, there's some more tanks coming in. Really want to keep uh, Missing No at bay when it comes to those tanks. Oh, hey, look, some Plex soldiers. Nice custom audio. I would assume that the audio is from... Uh, Bounty Hunter. Which, sadly, I haven't played. I haven't played a bunch of Star Wars games as a kid. I wasn't big of a gamer as a kid. Then again, I didn't have a... Exp or I didn't have a Game Boy. No, I did have a Game Boy. I didn't have a Game Cube. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't have a Game Cube. Gee, I need to get my priorities straightened. I had an Xbox and a Game Boy, and that's it. As I said, I wasn't too big of a gamer as a kid. I and I regret all of it. I haven't played the coders, sadly. And if I knew I was doing this, I would have done it. Because right now I'm just biting myself in the ass. Let's see what this combat library is all about. Laboratory, my bad. Combat Library is a facility used for to bring cutting-edge technology to the battlefield. All Mandalorian upgrades are purchased from here. Ah, so that could be our key to corruption, or not corruption, but tech. Technology. Alright, let's go and attack Wayland. Maybe there's nothing there again. Uh, uh, yeah, there... no. Never mind. Spoke too soon. 
I'm sorry, guys. Got your hopes up for no reason. Conquer Dawn. Three reinforcement slots there. Kessel again. I can tell this is Fondor 3.0. 2.0, I mean. Hey, you hopping around. Nice little droid advisor, a uh, 3PO series, maybe? Hmm. Makes me wonder how he got the advisor going. Did he just, uh, do a, uh, a texture change for the uh, advisor, like change the uh, file for it, and then go into MS Paint or something and change it. No, MS Paint, you can't do that. Or did he just put a uh, filter over some Mandalorian? No, he can't have. Yeah, he, he probably retextured the uh, helmet for the advisor and then put a filter on it. I'm overthinking this. Yeah, this must be from Bounty Hunter. This audio, this costume audio. It all seems pretty much similar, too. Why am I hearing... Ah, oh, that's why. These are Wookiee Warriors. Oh, there are snow speeders. Oh, never mind. Sorry. T-47 airspeeders. My bad. Sorry, guys. Nice. Anti... Whoops. Let's get out of there. Anti-infantry, sort of. Not completely overpowered, but not far from it. Not totally useful, either. Man, that mass driver... That's awesome. Holy air invasion, man. Wow. Yeah, and I know. Go, uh, going proton torpedoes against air speeders, they don't do anything at all. I just want to get some stuff going, you know. Mass drivers doing all they can, but there isn't much that they can do exactly. If I try and build a, ma a uh, mass driver right now, it'll certainly be destroyed. Oh, that was a quick burst there. Oh, wow. Really now? Well, there's already a problem with the turrets. The same point-blank range that... Uh, absolute corruption had with its turbo lasers. That's great. Let's get a, another mass driver going. Hopefully, we can get it built. Then we can turn the tide of the battle. Mostly infantry. Once I get rid of the airspeeders, I can charge in. Yeah, he, he left some Boba Fett quotes in for a good reason. I mean, the only thing a Mandalorian really cares about, besides its heritage, is, well, credits. And bloodline. Uh, whoops. Bloodline? What's bloodline? And there we go. Hmm. Is it destroyed? Can't tell. I don't think it. Ah, I think it is. Let's try and get a. No, oh, never mind. Can't move him. Oh well. I tried. Let's send in some help. That should be enough for him. So about that combat lab, huh? Yeah, I have one right there. Combat laboratory. So why can't I get any upgrades from it? God damn it. <sighs> oh. 
Ah, uh, so it seems the, uh, this guy here. Where are you? Reciprocator. Pretty sure it's a reciprocator.